Hi Steve, Suffolk Sifter. Welcome to a lovely, bright and sunny morning. Huh? Scratch that, make that a very overcast and misty morning. I'm back, I'm gonna be on the, what I call top field. That's all has been done at the moment. Come on. Let's get going. Get kitted up. Whew, hopefully it'll brighten up. Forecast says lovely sunny and bright. Reality is not really windy, chilly-ish and overcast. <laughs> Let's get out of there. I'm going to be using Gary's Ultimate. I will be knocking the frequency down to about 11.6 kilohertz. As you can see, there's a little bit of uh, cultivation going on. Um, so it's imminent. It's going to get like scratched over, direct drilled and frayed. And that's, I'm out of there. So thanks for joining me. Appreciate your company. And I'm going to crack into it. Many thanks to you. Yes, you at the other end there, my new subscribers of Suffolk Sifter. Much appreciated and your names, as usual, will scroll from bottom to top of the screen at the end of the video, so don't go anywhere. Okay, let's rock and roll. Uh, as I said, Gary's ultimate. I've knocked the frequency down to 11.6. Um, I'm just gonna crack on. I'm gonna just head over in that direction. I'm gonna go long ways, up and down, up and down, and uh, see what we can find. So thanks for coming with me, and as usual, if I find anything, you'll be the first to know. And hopefully that glowing orb, which is hidden by the clouds and the mist, will break through and grace us with its appearance later on in the adventure. Radio, as I've been told, and uh, you'd like seeing things come up, well, I've come up with a very faint signal to a nice juicy 72 which is in there, in that bit there. So I'm sure you're fascinated to see possibly a button or a piece of lead. So we'll just uh, go into it. Right, obviously that's the bottom. I always like to take the bottom off so I know how deep it is. So. <laughs> what did the tell you? It's a button, look. Four hole button. Right, so I've been asked or I've heard of channels planting stuff. So they get, oh my god, I found a gold talk. <laughs> I'm afraid if you're looking for that, you've come to the wrong channel. I'm afraid I just find day to day stuff. I try to do it honest. Uh, up front detect with no BS uh, and to that I've got a scratchy 85 ish it's, it's quite alive this ground it's very very noisy and uh, let's see well, it's still in there whatever it is There you go, a nice iron. Oh. See what I mean? There's a signal there was coming down to 77. There's an iron one there which you wouldn't dig. So there's something in here. Oh, we're going down a fair way. that iron one. I 
we have to deploy the probe soon as we'll be down to Australia. Right, I'm still questioning where I should be wasting my time, but no, it's not down at all. Look. Could have kept digging for the rest of my life, but I wouldn't have got it. Um, you probably can't see it, it's just in there in the wall. Look. Uh, it's probably a button. Let's just tease it out. Let's turn this off. Or, could, or, or this could be scrap. Or, I don't know. Uh, something decorative. I don't know what it is. There's a, all right, there's a hole or something through there. I don't know, folks. It's a, uh, it's, it's something. I'm um, guessing it's not a heck of a lot, but I'm often proven wrong. And near enough on cue. Look at that. It's the round shiny orb that's come out to play. Let's hope as a sign I can find some good things. And again, I'm going to keep doing this until you get bored or tell me otherwise. Uh, here is nice repeatable 75. And as you want to see me dig it, I'm going to do just that. Oops. Well, I can see it. It's in that clod. It's round, flat. More than likely to be a button. In fact, yes, it is a button that just in there. Nothing special. Unless you like buttons. Play in front. Eye oh, slightly squashed, but still intact. Fifty-one, fifty-two. I think I can see it. This is a stone. Can you see what it is yet? Just in there, look. Oh, little, looks like a button. Quite weird, it's a conical button. I think it is, is a, oh, the back is broken. But yeah, it's a tiny, tiny little, well, that looks like a little helmet button, doesn't it? <laughs> I found a helmet. That's a quick question for you, really. Um, do skylarks sort of flock? You know how starlings and stuff, they do um, big displays. Well, you can't see it, but just in front of me, there's like 200 birds on the ground, and they sound like skylarks, and I just didn't know. There you go, they're taking off, look. You probably can't see it. Yeah, it's another flock coming to it. Oh well. Never mind, quick question. Answer on the postcard please. Yes! Finally! 75! It's medieval! Are you ready? No, only kidding. I think it's a grease nipple. It's a medieval grease nipple. Right. It's very, very faint, obviously it came out and um, got very loud. Back on the buckles again while it looks of it. Looks like a nice little decorated part of a buckle. 
Do you think I'm correct in saying that? Right, well, we're not really finding a heck of a lot. I just thought I'd mention if you're new to the XP dais or an XP in general, you won't go far wrong to go and see the uh, XP Skill School. Gary's XP Skill School. I'll leave a, a link in the description below. Rammed, crammed full of helpful videos, tips and hints. There's a good guy and if you're starting out on the dais, that's the place to go. Grab a cup, put your feet up and just go through some videos. Well, there you go. Not a heck of a lot. Um, just sort of stuff you'd find day to day, really, in real world of metal detecting. Good signals like um, old cartridge cartridge ends. You've got to dig them because they're a good signal. A little tiny, tiny piece of fragments of whatever. But again, they're good signals. You know, it could just be a cut quarter. I got grease nipple. <laughs> Loads of buttons, and probably for me this trip. There's a nice quarter of a buckle again, a nice decorative quarter of a buckle. And that thing, I'm not quite sure what that thing is, but when that's washed up, we'll find out and I'll put it in the videos. Oh, there we go, that's today's haul. On the right is, um, well, rubbish. Uh, the obligatory shotgun cartridge ends, bits of scrap, a grease nipple. Top left, you've got the buttons. There's three or four ones with loops in. Then there's the four hole buttons and there's a two hole button. And a nice little dome button. And just the left of the buttons is that quarter of a buckle, nice little decorative buckle. I'm just gonna find a whole one. And it's a bit at the bottom there. I haven't got a clue what it is at the moment. It looks like it's something, but it could out, could be turn out to be nothing. So we'll give it a wash when we get back. Thanks for coming with me. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications for future videos and the Wednesday live stream. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.